everyone. Welcome back to Sticks and Sons Wood Carving. This right here is another request of a drawing for a pattern. Uh, I don't know how good of a pattern it would make, but they're looking for reference anyway for a hummingbird. Okay. Uh, there's not much to the hummingbird, so we're going to have at it and see if we can come up with at least uh, something we could put on a piece of wood and cut out on the bandsaw anyway. You know, and get the outline and then you can carve at it. I haven't really carved a hummingbird yet. But uh, I'll draw one for you, so because you requested it, and we'll see uh, how it works. Okay, I'm going to come up here to my paper, and I'm going to start with his eye. Right, and we're just going to make pretty much just a small circle. All right, uh, there's not going to be much to it. I'm going to color that whole thing in black for now, with just a little highlight in the middle. Basically what you're doing when you're looking for to carve something like this is looking for the outline mostly. Okay. And about where some of his markings are or everything anything. Then you can uh, kind of take it from there. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna make the top part of his head like that. Okay. I'm gonna come over and then I'm gonna draw kinda where his colors are going to be, all right? So right here is the best way I can do a hummingbird, uh, hummingbird pattern, I think, all right? Now we're going to come over here, if we can make it straight enough, and draw one big, long beak, okay? If I can get it straight. <laughs> like that. Let me erase that. Kind of hard to draw a hummingbird beak. Right? And right from there, you come from underneath that beak just a little bit. And you draw a line straight down like this. Well, it's kind of angled down. It's not straight down. And now we have the shape of our book bird's head and uh, chest anyway. Don't mind me, had to have a sip of my coffee here. <laughs> all right, now we're going to have him, since they're always flying, mostly, all right, we're just going to make the shape of his body, I think that's the simplest way to do it, and then we'll do some makeshift wings, and we'll have a decent little pattern, so. Come over to here where we ended up, where we ended off. And we're just going to make a tail by just doing that. Okay, now that's going to finish off the rest of his body. So what we're going to do is put his wings right in here. All right. Now come up here to his body, up by the head here, and draw a line about right there. I'm going to put a guide line right about here because that's where I want that other wing, the other side of his wing. Okay, now, let's see if we can't get a wing in here. I'm going to draw a line down. Probably about there. Hope I can do this without messing it up here. And then we're going to draw another line coming down like that. And we're going to make a little bump. Little bump, little bump. I'm just gonna go down with these bumps first so I can figure out about how to get it to go where I want on this body. And then we can add these in. Alright, so there's this first swing. Now, these right here are what I'm talking about adding in. Alright, we're gonna come down. And bring the inside of those individual feathers down towards his body here. I don't know how I'm going to put them in there. Uh, on the 
end. Because right. these right here are just going to basically blend up from his body. If I was going to put shading, I'd do all the shading in here like this. And this right here would all be colored, okay? And that would blend up and in. But that's the first shape of your body anyway, all right? And we can put shading in here. Like I said, this wouldn't look bad uh, as far as the drawing goes. But I'm not trying to really go too nuts with the drawing because you want it for carving. So, But this right here, the colors, when you would paint it, would blend up into these lines here, okay? So I might as well just do that so he looks like something. That's the same with up here on his head. All of this right here would be colored, okay? Whatever colors he was going to be. Again, this is very basic. It's just a shape. If you want a, something to cut out, you're going to have to figure out the carving until I actually do one on the channel here by yourself. But at least you'll have some reference to uh, what a hummingbird looks like. Okay, which is usually the biggest thing, trying to get one in your head. <laughs> Alright, uh, I would shade him, you know, if I was painting him with colors, so my shading would probably do something like this and it would all blend in. Like I said, this right here, I would make. This would be color, not just shading. Whatever color I was going to do. I'm just thinking in my head how I would paint it, you know. It'd be something like that. Okay. Now, he'd need his other wing, and I wouldn't make too much detail on that in the drawing. But I'd draw a line from there to there. And then bring it down until it touches his back here. And again, there'd be a little bit of shading on this, or... Not much, and in the drawing I wouldn't even put any feathers on it. You know, because you're just not going to be able to do it from this side, you know. But there you have a hummingbird pattern. Okay. Which isn't really hard to make, like I said, it's just a shape. But, uh... You're going to have to wing the carving on it, but I hope this helps, and that should fulfill that request. So if there's any more requests about what you'd like to draw to try and put on a, a block of wood, like this guy right here, you could take a piece of basswood, you could put it right on the basswood, you could cut it out and carve a big hummingbird, or you could do a relief carving of it, whatever you'd like, okay? But uh, there's a nice little hummingbird pattern for you. And again, he's got no feet, but... It's a good start. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me comments. Give me suggestions. We'll do some more drawings and patterns. I'm getting ready to carve tune. I'm work uh, soon. Tune. <laughs> I'm working on the shop right now. Getting ready to set up my cameras out there and start carving. Doing some carving videos too. So stay tuned, guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye now.